This video is going to talk about four different types of decisions. As we said in class, everyone has a morality. It's just a question of whether that morality is good or bad. Likewise, we can also classify decisions that people make. And sometimes it's more helpful to think about decisions rather than a person's overall morality because sometimes you can be an overall good person who makes a bad decision and sometimes you can be an overall pretty bad person who makes a good decision once in a while. So think about, you know, a Disney villain makes a good decision once in a while in the story and sometimes the heroes of the story make bad decisions, make bad decisions too. So sometimes it's more helpful to talk about the individual decisions that people make rather than just whether or not they have a good morality or bad morality. When it comes to moral decisions, we really can't get much better than Jesus. When we're talking about moral decisions, we're talking about decisions that are positive. These are decisions that promote human welfare. These are the kinds of decisions that, you know, help us live fully human lives. So remember, morality helps us discover what we ought to be, what we ought to do to live fully human lives. When we're acting the way we ought to and we're acting in a fully human way, we're making moral decisions and those decisions benefit us and other people. On the flip side, immoral decisions are, in short, bad decisions. Those are decisions that are negative, decisions that are harmful and destructive to us or to others. So if we think about morality is knowledge that helps us discover what we ought to be and how to live fully human lives, immoral decisions are decisions that move us away from that. And think about it this way. So immoral decisions are, you know, decisions where you know the right thing to do, but you choose to do the opposite. And in one article I read, it said, you you know the difference, you don't care, and you say mwahaha while you're twirling a mustache. So that kind of sums up immoral. Non-moral decisions are really those decisions that have no, really have no right or wrong to them. So it really doesn't matter what kind of cereal I eat in the morning. That's not a decision that's going to help me live a fully human life or help me discover, you know, what I ought to be and what I ought to do to live a fully human life. So if I'm going to eat a piece of fruit and I have a choice between an apple or a pear, um, either way, that's an okay decision. So that decision doesn't really have an effect on me one way or the other. Now, sometimes people argue that non-moral decisions could in fact become moral or immoral decisions. So for example, if it's summer and I'm trying to decide what pair of socks to wear, it really doesn't matter. But if I'm getting ready for school and I have to decide between a red pair of socks and a white pair of socks, well, in that case, it might be a moral decision because that decision could possibly have positive or negative consequences for me because of because of the dress code. Most of the time, though, we want to think about non-moral decisions as decisions that are neutral. So they don't, they don't help others. They don't hurt other people. They're, they're, just, they're just neutral. And then lastly, we get to amoral decisions. An amoral decision is really when the person making that decision has no sense of right or wrong. So... It's not, and this is different than not thinking about it. It's you don't have the ability to tell what's right or wrong in a situation. Most of the time, when we're old enough to know the difference between right and wrong, we've moved out of that amoral, we've moved out of that amoral stage. We think about little babies as being, as being amoral, although it's interesting that even from a very, very young age, young children know 
when an action is right or when an action is wrong or when they're doing something they're supposed to be doing or doing something they're not supposed to be doing. But amoral decisions are those made where the person has no sense of right or wrong. So think a baby, think a fish. Um, that's, that's very, very different from knowing what's right and wrong and choosing to do the wrong thing, which would be immoral. So there you have it. You have four types of decisions. Moral, immoral, non-moral, and amoral.